Okay, where is this doggo again? Dog meat, where are you? Dog meat? Ah, whatever, let's go. Alright, here comes a mod which is long overdue. Almost as overdue as the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Skeletal adjustments for CVBE. Knee fix by SQR17. You know how the knees totally get fucked when bends too much while using the CVBE body? Doesn't look very nice. And this is the fix for that. Freaking finally. I don't even know why it took so long, but yeah, it's all good now. Well done. Next, we have some cool new Pip Boy upgrades. Pip World Map by Desertstar. This is a very nicely drawn, colorful, and also detailed world map. To get the color to show up, by the way, you need to edit your Fallout 4 Ini like this, in case you didn't know that already. This map does not only look fancy, but also shows lots of points of interest, like settlements, bubblehead locations, and so on. So it's also very useful and practical. And then there is something colorful for the World Boy. Ultimate colored World Boy animations overhaul by Tela Moana. Well, the title already says it all. All the animated stuff will shine in more than just black and white. Seriously, technology is supposed to evolve with time. We have flying ships and artificial humans and all this crap, but no color screens? Something ain't right here. The next mod is a very nice little addition to our settlements. Heaven's 4 poster beds by Heaven There. Lots of nice beds, definitely way more than 4, 44 actually, in all kinds of shapes and patterns. And not just for humanoids, but also for our 4-legged settlers. Because after a busy day of adventuring and saving the commonwealth, everybody deserves to rest comfortably. By the way, speaking of dogs, what happened during the intro sequence was actually this. Tub meat by Konata Inoue. Yes, seriously, this is a dog meat replacer. You can also replace all the radar dogs with this if you wish. Why? Because we can! This is the highest law of modding, everybody knows that. But okay, enough fooling around. Time for the serious stuff. The weapons. Heckler und Koch EUMP by FX0X01, Haru, Navarro and Ned. Another compact but highly deadly high fire rate killing machine. 4K textures, unique animations and sounds, the full package. The customization is also decent, with a huge variety of scopes, silencers and rail attachments for both sides. But unfortunately, that's already it for the weapons. On the armor side is some more fun to be had. Cyberpunk helmets by Trophy Hunter. Yes, yes, Cyberpunk. The super hype has calmed down a bit, but the modding continues to give us content before the actual game does. Lots of different skins and glow options for this stereoscopic helmet, including different glow animations. And on top of that, 8K textures available. Finally more of that good shit. 
Hell yeah, this is the master race feeling. Next we have something from a completely different time. Wonder Woman outfits by Les Man 555. The classic Wonder Woman costume from the 1970s. Yeah, sure, why not? She will fit in great with Grognak and the other Avengers, or whatever they are called. And for the last one, prepare to squat, because Adidas outfits by Alan Walker. Unfortunately, it's not the type of Adidas suit respectable Slavic gentlemen prefer to wear. It's more like the type Instagram thoughts would use. But feel free to squat anyway. One way or another, there is a huge quest mod we need to take a look at. Sector 5 Rise and Fall by Shrator. Back in episode 23, I reviewed Project Phoenix A True Story, which was actually the first part. Then there was also Rising Phoenix The Story Continues, which was the sequel. And now here with Rise and Fall we have the third part, which however also includes the previous two mods, so it's the complete story. A huge quest line with several unique locations, voiced NPCs and epic boss fights. The storyline starts west of the Poseidon Reservoir, and after fighting your way through several non-linear dungeons and meeting weird NPCs, we finally get to see the actual Sector 5 faction. This is how far I actually managed to get the last time. And this is also pretty much how the story continues. After several more mini-dungeons, we finally find a huge Sector 5 base, which we have to clear commando-style by shooting everything with a pulse. The objectives are usually fairly simple. Go there, shoot that… But as mentioned before, the bigger dungeons are non-linear and take a while to complete. So if you are looking for a good way to kill some time, this quest will sure keep you entertained, because it's indeed very long. And this is it for this episode. The links to all mods are as always in the description below. Don't forget to endorse the mods you like. And if you like long, non-linear things, hit the like button and subscribe for more best new Fallout 4 mods. I thank you all for watching and see you around.